What's going on, guys? Welcome to magicthegathering.internet slash UK. I am your host, Chandra Nalar, and I'll be here taking Nabin, the Dean of Iteration over Rite of Bells and Lock. Big Pokey, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Happy Chicken Sunday to you. Uh, do you generate content play MTG full-time? Yes, this is my job. This is my sole job. Hmm. It's got to be Naven, right? The blue, the, the wizard's deck is great. I also like Rite of Bells Unlock in Limited. But they can just bounce that guy. Boom, 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 boom. Does he have... Frank greeted us again. Does he have Alzheimer's? Oh, Hintral and Harbor? Perfect. No, just kidding. It's probably going to be this Tetsuko Umizawa. Um, I will assume that we're going to lean towards red-blue because that's a strong boy. And then we're going to open uh, Teferi. No, just kidding. We're not open Teferi's. But no, for real. Uh, we'll probably open... Jaya's Emulating Inferno. I'm going to take this Academy Journey Mage. Syncopato? Or, or it's actually probably Skizik here. Yeah, I'll take the Skizik here. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. That was where I was dragging the Skizik, but this, hey, we get the Syncopate anyway. Everybody wins. Yeah, the only other thing I would consider here is Avon Sentry. You like Baird over, I think Baird is the like the fourth weakest card in that pack. I would take Elfheim Druid, uh, Wright, and Nabin over, over Baird. Mmm. Chris, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. 1,500 bits. Thank you, buddy. That is awesome. That's a little drafty. Yep, I stream full-time uh, five days, at least five days a week. And... Um, I have content going up on Patreon regularly. I Every week I post uh, Frank Thoughts, which is like a 15 to 20 minute podcast um, about, you know, just recent happenings and stuff. And uh, that's in the $3 tier. It's, it's $3 a month, though, not per episode. So like for $3 a month, you get that content. You also get the uh, everything that goes up on the Patreon feed as well, which is like I, I write usually like one or two articles per month at least right now. And if, if we hit goals, it'll be like up to once a, one a week. But... I do plan on, we played a, um, a pretty sweet, uh, indomitable creativity deck earlier this week that someone commissioned and, uh, I liked it a lot actually. And I, I, I found some updates for it after the fact. And so I'm going to write an article about that and it's going to go up on Patreon. So if you guys are interested, uh, how would I like to be a card designer for wizards? I would love to be a card designer for wizards, but I mean, one buck for car and luck. Craig, thank you so much. I will keep my fingers crossed. Um, it's probably just short sword here. I can see arguments for these two, but I'm going to go with the sword. Goblin Chain Roll is my favorite card because it needs mountains to be cast. That's fair. And not only just regular mountains, it needs three specifically, which is basically... That's the best you can get at that price point. I want to take this Arcanist. We're not priced. We're not like uh, committed to to red specifically yet. So this is a wizard. It does wizardly things. Wizardly things. Excavator, Guardians. They're likely going to be there. Um, or Opt. It's a late Avon Sentry, too. Maybe I'll just take the Avon Sentry. I think it's actually the stronger card in the pack. I'm going to take the Avon Sentry. Oh, a Gitu Journey Runner. Gitu Journey Mage comes. Look at all, the, all three of these are good red cards. I'm going to take the Journey Mage because I think it's the best for the Wizard deck. 
could also take the trapper though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nabit is better in the red deck for obvious reasons. Hmm. Yeah, I don't care about either of these. We'll just take the frenzy rage. All right. Well, What did we pass for Haven Sentry? An opt and a Guardians of Koilos? Neither of those are terribly painful. I actually don't mind Bloodstone Golem. Alright, we'll take Fury. Now, there's a lot of red late late red cards. They're not the best red cards, but. Another Steel Leaf Champ. All right, well, this pack is pretty mediocre. We got a Deep Freeze, a G2 Journey Mage, and a Fire Invention. The best cards are obviously Slime Foot and Steel Leaf Champion, but I think Journey Mage is actually fine for us. We can probably pick up another Fire Intervention, but I want to have a, a, high, a high concentration of Wizards here. Marar oh, Fire Fist Adept, Sarah Angel, my god. Pretty sure it's Fire Fist Adept over Marari Conjecture. You just have a, a better, you have better wizards in the deck than you have instants and sorceries. Skittering Surveyor also good, but Fire Fist Adept is pretty bonkers. Plus if it triggers, if we get the Nabin Fire Fist Adept deck, that's pretty sweet. Uh, I like Gitsu Lavamancer a lot more than I used to, and I think I'm just going to take the blink over that because that's a strong card. Oh, look. Your friend and mine. We're not splashing that guy despite being a wizard. We're just going to take this this dude. <sighs> Savage bars? What? What did I do? I'm a fresh lava lady. <laughs> wow. I didn't even know I said that. That's crazy. When did I say that? That's did I black out? Oh god, I probably blacked out. That's just sad. Oh, bars with a Z. It's all making sense now. Sorry, I mean you're from New York and I'm from Florida, so like you got to you got to slow it down just a little bit with me because, you know, it's hard. It's hard to take over. It's hard to take over. It's hard to keep up. I read Swish's comment that said take Ambien and I I interjected take into the sentence that I was saying. This pack is also hot trash. I'll take an opt, I guess. It's real bad. But I mean, li there's literally nothing else. I don't like howling golems, so I don't know what chop and screw it means. God, you are so next level right now, man. I don't even know what's happening. Why are you? St what's going on? I'm gonna take this run amok. That's a that's a vital component to this this red blue deck. One more time for good measure, Chris. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the support. That is awesome, dude. You are a good soul. I don't care. I don't care what your mom says about you, Chris. You were you were a good gentleman. I think you're underrated. No remac. I don't think Sparring Construct is underrated. I think it's pretty bad. 
I tried this yesterday dream too, but it's on another commercial break. They take is that oh, because the invitational is this weekend. That's interesting. I'm gonna get this Guardians because I'll play this guy in the main deck where I probably won't play an unwind in the main deck. How many licks does it take to do this one for Titsy Pop? Why, why would you ask me that? Like, I'm pretty sure no one knows, and then you're gonna ask me and put me on blast because I don't know. That ain't cool. Nobody knows. Okay, this is a late Sylvan Awakening. I want to unwind. Deep Freeze came back. I a lot of people don't like Deep Freeze, but I think it's pretty good. I mean, just because it like okay, sure they get a blocker, they get an O four blocker for most of your three power guys, but I'd rather one less guy get through than die to a Thorn Elemental. That's just my feeling on it. I'm gonna take this Joda. It's a Southern, I think mostly Texas hip hop. Style where DJs take rap songs and slow them way down and react them so they stutter and skip. That's, man, music is amazing. We're gonna put these in color order, color auto, and alphabetize them as well. So, there you go, color order and alphabetized. Progress seventy three. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And we never opened another one again, though. So you know, we had to we had to appreciate it while it lasted because now we're up to like sixty one drafts, I think, and uh, has not improved. So I'll take Valduck because nothing really else in that pack. These packs are pretty terrible, dude. Progress. Thank you for the bits. Really appreciate it. Uh, looks like my cup runneth over down there. I guess we'll take second pick, Ace Theor Glider. Because that's a thing to do. Can you alphabetize by the last name of the artist? Uh, sure. Journey Mage number three? I mean, if we go Nabin into Journey Mage, it's probably the best. These are both fine. This is not the best Wizards deck we've ever had. In fact, I don't know if it's any good. We got any sixes? We got any kickers that's with six? No? What do we got? We got a short sword and an arcane flight for this Valduck. I haven't seen any jousting lances for days. I am the Gucci main of magic? I think Andrea Mangucci is actually the Gucci main of magic. That seems much more fitting. How many... How many Journey Mages is too many? I'll play this playset. Don't even test me. You're going to go on the sideboard. Radiant Lightning, you go right in front of these seismic shifts. Warlord's Fury, you're not relevant because we don't have uh, Adelies, So, Do you ever take the basic second to last just for the meme value? No, because that, that's super low meme value. If there's literally nothing in the pack, maybe. But... Pity buck since no Karn. Man, if you were going to give me a pity buck every time since I had no Karns, you'd owe me like 150 pity bucks. That's a lot. Like, a lot of times you're playing Guardians of Coilus, not because they bounce something, but just because they're a 4 4 4 5. That's fine. Antiquities War, more like Antiquities War, if you know what I'm saying. We don't have any artifacts for that. We don't have enough for two of these, I think. It's probably just Divination or Kelden Raider. This is basically a Divination of attached to a 4-3, I think. That's my feeling on the matter. 4-3 is pretty big in this format. And we get another Blink anyway, so that's cool. So now we need one cut. I'll take this Cutie Bird. Oh, I would never take a Bird over a Lich's Master. I'd never take a Land over a Lich's Master just because that's high meme value. See what happened, Frank is the third pack that you didn't get to see because MTGO crashed. In fact, I had a full Teferina, but Wizards knew that would cause a worldwide market crash. So they took down the service. Your sacrifice will not go unheeded. That's good. I'm glad it means something. It memes something. <laughs> I see a deep it's one of these two. It's probably second short sword with the Valduck, but I don't know. I'd rather just have the second uh, deep freeze. 
No one would ever take a knight of malice over Karn. Karn. You'd be you'd be ostracized from your community. And I think having an answer like Deep Freeze, I think having a second copy is more valuable than having a second sword for our one of Valduk. Because the blue-red deck doesn't have many ways to deal with big creatures like... Uh, that is a late call to cavalry. I just hit the mic. Sorry about that. Uh, it doesn't have ways to deal with big creatures like 7-7s seven or 8-8s. Eight I'm just going to take this. I'm going to make someone's deck worse because I'm a hater. I'm going to take this Thran Temporal Gateway. Keep up this... Opt? Do we do we got an unwind? I'll take another opt, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna play the first opt. Relic Runner is not terrible. It might actually be better than Bloodstone Golem just because we have Tetsuko Mizawa. But we actually, other than that, we don't actually have that many uh, that many ways to trigger it. We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, the divination came back. Well, I'm definitely cutting opt for divination. That's for sure. That's for true. Uh, you're gonna go here. All right. Dang it! I gotta I gotta scroll down just to keep the. Uh... Oh dang it! They ruined it. All right, twenty five cards. I don't. Arcane flight's okay, but I don't love it. I mean, it's better if we have a turtle because it's just a one for. It's just a two. We just two for one ourselves. With no turtle, actually, guardians doesn't do anything in this deck except for be big and stupid. I wonder if we can actually play sixteen lands in this deck. Could be 16 lands. We only have two 5 drops, and this guy's probably a 4 drop. Oh, this guy's 5 drop, though. I guess we can cut Relic Runner or Bloodstone Golem and just feel better about our choices here. How many kick spells do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 kick spells, and... Let me five. Okay, so we actually err on the side of blue here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try sixteen lands. We'll go eight eight. We'll see what happens. How big of a difference can it make? We'll find out. Join us next time on Dragon Ball Z. Um, freak, you're playing Magic Online on the internet. That's not Dragon Ball Z at all. Fair point, nasally voiced viewer. Fair point. I had no idea. I do have some raisins, though. Dang it. Right when I was going to get some raisins. Got them anyway. Perfect hand. Twenty-eight lands. You're playing twenty-six lands. Unbelievable. Good luck drawing your lands, jerk. Unfortunately, none, none of these are wizards. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. 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 I almost dropped a grape. I mean a raisin, but a grape. It's a grape. Oh, I just get these Sunmade Raisins because A, Sunmade is classic, and B, it's a good deal for this whole thing. For 22 ounces of raisins, 22.58 ounces of raisins, it's only like four bucks. And I'm like, that's a good raisin deal. That's a raisiny deal. Hmm. I'm just going to play Tetsuko here because if they play anything, I'd rather be able to get in unblocked. But yeah, see, I don't want to get that guy blocked. I kind of do because wish I had a way to kill this dude. 
I want to play Journey Mage here because if we draw a land, I'd rather be able to bounce something with other Journey Mage. One Journey Mage begets another. I'll block this guy too. Come at me, bro. Say my name, say my name. I'm gonna eat raisins. God, all he does is sing Destiny's Child when he streams. It's unbelievable. He's just, this dude's just eating raisins, singing Destiny's Child. I feel like our deck's doing well. Huh. Yes, I said yes. I try to scoot back when I eat the raisins just so you guys don't have to listen to the smacky, but, you know. End game. Well, that guy's not going to do it. Okay. I mean, this Testuco is a two turn clock. Oh, cancel. <laughs> Almost had an accident there. Shoot him. Shoot him and toot him. We're going to bring in this Radiant Lightning against the uh, against the Sapperling deck. Against the Sappy Boy deck. Can you sing some TLC? The scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Hopefully that counts. Don't go chasing waterfalls. They stick to the rules and the weeks that they used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way and nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. Oh, Elfheim McMelfheim. I want to play this Relic Runner because then we can go into Balduck. TLC Twitter account replied, hell no. That's hilarious, dude. Wow. Can can you not sing TLC? I bet I could. Could you not be a hater? Probably not. Get wrecked. All right. Well, that's cool, dude. Lots of things happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of things. None of them good for us. Magic is a real hard game. I can pinpoint exactly the Frank with the high school by the R&B songs. That's actually pretty funny. I wish I had more than one red. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a rabbit in the hat with a hat in the collar. Actually, it should have been Journey Mage, because next to Ring and Fire Fist, that, that was stupid. I got distracted. Yeah. Well, that's a dude, isn't he? That's a dude, isn't he? 
Yeah, we should have played a wizard there. I will block, though. Well, that's a good draw. Can't be blocked for so many different reasons. When, you, when I wasn't around between 2 and 3 p.m., you cried yourself to sleep. Matthew, are you going to bed? Were you going to bed at 2 to 3 p.m.? If not, it sounds relaxing. I hope you got some good sleep, buddy. Don't go chasing butterbuzz. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're dead if we don't block this idiot, so. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Wild onslaught. No, no wild onslaught. Ten man, enjoy your FNM, buddy. Crush it for me. If I don't see you this weekend when I'm streaming, and uh, if I if I see you this weekend and I'm streaming and you didn't crush it, we're gonna have some issues. <laughs> tap tap, vicious hunger. No, okay. Are you going to eat this guy? Are you going to pump this guy? Wow. They have it all. Oh, you're an ancient animus. That's really sad. I'm going to I'm gonna go to the next game, I think. I'm not feeling particularly well right now. Especially because they have double sapperling. They can just, so they're basically at 15 life. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We all take, well, we're also dead here. We just block here and we take eight, so... All right, cool. All right. So. I actually kind of like the other deep freeze, but I think we have one. One should be fine. I really wish there were more common wizards at two mana. Like, there's none. All the blue red cards that are not, they're like, that they're two drops are like Goblin Warrior, Rogue, Human. Human Artificer. I will play first. There's like one. I'm going to surprisingly keep this hand. It has all the lands we want. We only, we only have 16 lands in our 41 card deck, so. I have to uh, naively assume that we will hit. Okay, well. <laughs> that we'll hit spells we can cast, he said. Incorrectly. No, stop playing this guy. Are you serious? 16 lands? We're going to draw 7 lands and 2 spells? Okay. I'm getting to the point of... Uh, I'm getting to the point of, of Dominaria where it's starting to get real... It's getting more frustrating than fun. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that subsides. Yep. Hi-oh. No blocks, because I have a 2 1. I almost don't want to rebounce this guy, but. Are you gonna... Oh boy. Never fails. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I actually feel safer about putting this on here because you just wasted an Ancient Animus. Of course, you're just going to untap, go Eviscerate, and attack for two, but... Uh, I have not done the plain Seals. I don't really enjoy Sealed that much. Uh, I don't like the randomness that's associated with it. As opposed to Draft, where I get to pick my cards. Um, if you open a bad Sealed pool, you're just kind of stuck with it. And I know that's, like, um, par for the course. Like, everyone has the same... It's on the same level for everyone, but...
I mean, but the problem is if we don't get Skull Clamp, it's like, well, that's... Oh my god, really? Jesus. Yep, that's exciting. I feel like we can't even attack now. We take five? I guess we can. <laughs> we're not we're not there yet, I guess. Oh, I like that. They're they're playing around the blink, which is pretty clever. You're gonna ancient animuses? Oh, you're just gonna eat that guy, sure. Okay, cool. Uh, you can see the light leave his eyes at that very moment. You can see his soul leave his body as he just stopped caring about everything. What's going on, Buddy Lee? Big fan, but uh, hey, can you, can you suck less? Big fan. Look, this little grape has a stem still on it. Like, it's a remnant of its past life. I can just take this little... Whoop! And then it's gone. Grapes are crazy. Look at that thing. I'll keep this hand. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to do this here. Well, see you later. I've been watching YouTube content forever. Definitely appreciate. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> not a fruit fly. Yes, but I had the regular pest control people that I have come out today, so that was pretty fun. Not fun, but like, she's been awesome. She just comes out like whenever I need, because I have them come every three months. So I'm like, they're like on retainer basically. Literally a fly. Once you ask you after you ask that question, a fly just literally flew, flew across. I mean, they're still here. Hopefully, they can. This guy's gonna get vicious offering because they never don't have vicious offering. I, I feel like I draft a, a good amount of black in this format, and I, I think I've played maybe two vicious offerings ever because that's all I get past. So, so I just think it's kind of impressive that they uh, they're able to to open so many. They stick to the rivers and the lakes that they used to. The worst part about this sword is that it makes Tetsuko blockable all of a sudden. But I think you're moving too fast. This wizard's actually a pretty good draw because it lets us trigger this guy and kind of gives us a land, but not really. Plus, we also get to uh, attack unblocked, so it's one damage plus the two damage. So it's basically like playing this as an unblockable guy last turn, this turn. Oh yeah, I've been using uh, 
apple cider vinegar, which just does the same thing, and you just stick a drop of uh, dish soap in there because it breaks the surface tension, and then they end up drowning, which is morbid, but that's what happens. Really, you took the guy that I can't actually cast. Intriguing. I like Journey Mage here because we can get uh, value off the ability, and next turn if we draw a land, we can play Valduk and also equip them him so I mean, I'd love to like um, blame this win on our opponents only drawing three lands but we've also only drawn three lands so <laughs> kind of even playing field I guess Is the bit of the bit of sugar does that help because it attracts them better? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bounce this guy. Buddy Lee, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Hopefully we'll be able to talk fruit fly issues for years and years to come. So we move this because if they replay that other guy, both of these are unblockable and the 4-3 doesn't get blocked by the 2-3. So puts us in a better position. Plus, um, we don't want to have to move it next turn if they play a 2-3 and then we have a 3-2. And... Five mana. They just try to play a Yogmoth's Vile Offering and realize they don't have a legendary guy. Interesting. I really wonder if they did. Because we saw one in our draft, so maybe we're all just drafting together. Hunter's having a little dream back there. Can you catch a few fruit flies and put them in a cage as a pet? Can I? Yes. Will I? Probably not. Because that seems gross. This guy's unblockable too. That seems like gas. You're at two, so this guy, these guys are death alone. Oh my god, it's literally right in my face. I wonder if you guys could see that. He's literally got bugs flying around his face. I'm like the pig pen of streamers over here. Can you be uh, we'll keep this hand again. God, every time I see it, I wish Tetsuka was uh, a wizard. Yeah, dude, when we, I, so they first, the flies first arrived, I cooked some food and there were peppers, onions, and like corn husks in the trash. And the next morning I woke up and I was like, oh God, there's flies in here. What's going on? And they were like swarming on the trash can. It was ridiculous. It's amazing. Like, I mean, like for as small and obnoxious of, of insects as they are, you're just like, wow, this is a lot. You guys have some, some evolved senses because this is impressive. Or even try to fool ya. Oh, no. This 
This glider is unblockable, but that's okay because they have vicious offering. They always do. Tap, tap, kill it. Never fails. Never don't, literally never don't have it. So. Does Game be better or worse if you played your draft match with the pod you drafted in? Um, I don't think it would actually have any tangible effect. I mean, you still can. Like, there's still queues where you can draft normally. You just go to... Uh, this is leagues, but instead you just go to queues. And you go to Dominaria. Uh, sealed. Here's like a rival Swiss draft. I guess they don't have Dominaria Swiss drafts. Interesting. Oh, here you go. Oh, it's new to Magic Online. Sure, uh, I don't think it. I don't think it makes that big of a difference, to be quite honest. Oh, good, good. Good. Very good. Very good. My kingdom for an arcane flight. Yep. Never they never don't have two vicious offerings, do they? Uh, this is actually pretty gas. Oh, you have a third vicious offering. <laughs> Cuz of course you do. Ooh. Oh, you don't want to use it here. All right. Good to know. I mean, that gives us a good amount of time, actually. Yep. Final parting is interesting. I can only wonder what you're getting here. Either way, we're going to be schizzicking. What would fungal infection have done there? I don't think they actually know what they're getting. I think they're just taking a look to see what they can do to deal with what we have already. We can also just actually take a turn off, deal four, counter whatever they play, and basically have the win on board. I think we're going to do that. We can also play Journey Mage here and keep up a single paid for two, which actually should be a good amount. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can just wait. I wonder if they tutored for a forest. That'd be kind of funny. Well, the problem is I want to counter a five or a six mana spell. Like, I don't want them to just resolve a bigger threat because we didn't keep up. Yeah, that guy's... Definitely getting sync or not not a five or six minute spell, but like a, even like a smaller spell, like an eviscerate. If they go land eviscerate, it's not great for us. 
just pay it for five. You can do what you like with that. So now we get to deal nine, and Gitu Journey Mage is very good for us. Can you do a series of videos on YouTube where you play pranks on Mike? Um, maybe. All right, go to three. Virtual two, if this Fire Fist Adept resolves, or survives, rather. What? Okay, that's just a concession, basically. This place is like, alright, I'm gonna give up, but I'm gonna take a gander first. I accept your concession. That'll do. Alright, let's see if we can do the, the old 2-1 shuffle. Also running out of thumbnails for YouTube. I use a different... I use... Most of my thumbnails are based on the most relevant card in the matches. Like, so, you know, I'll... You know, if Skizik was was key in certain wins, I'll use a Skizik for the thumbnail. But I'm running out of thumbnails because we've done a lot of drafts. And not all of the art is available, so... Just do mountains for all the thumbnails. Yeah, I'll just use a mountain for every single one. I will play first. This is bad. This is better. The problem is if I, I try to only use each thumbnail once because it gets kind of lazy if I just keep using the same thumbnail for multiple, dra multiple drafts. And it also kind of distinguishes them. What up, Punk Apostle? You want me to keep the one land hand? Why are you the way that you are? A Vidalion, can you imagine how good it would be if we drew a Vidalion Arcanist there? Spoiler alert, it would be very, very good. Relic Runner? Relic Runner? What's the play here? We'll just Journey Mage. It's better for the long term. If we draw Fire Fist Adept or other Journey Mages, like, it's cool. No blocks. I don't need you to be fungal infectioning my guy and getting a one one and killing my three two in the process. Or just Gideon's reproach. Or just Adamant Will. You could have you could have anything. Our opponent's name is Red Wiz, and I feel like if that's the case, you should probably consult your physician because that is not a healthy condition to have. Oh, did you hear about Billy? He got the Red Wiz. Oh dang it. He's going to have to go to the hospital for that. I'm actually going to attack and uh, trade with this Voltaic Servant if they want. Yep, seems fine. Oh my god, this fly is like literally right in my face right now. That was the most aggressive fly I've ever seen. Come and get your pizza pie.
I don't know what to do about these guys. I guess I'll just take it. I guess I'll just take the damage. Well, that's obnoxious. We have one card, they have four. Well, let's change that. Let's change all that. All right, I guess we can blink, blink a knight next turn, and then we'll top deck sword so we can put it on Valduk and then start getting some damage in. So that's that's good. That's good. Really don't want to double block with my G2 Journey Mages on this knight, because that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I'll do one. Because we can't just keep, can't just keep, take seven damage every turn. It's not going to be... That's not realistic. I don't think we're winning this game, so. Pretty sure they have a Gideon's Reproach in hand, which they had earlier on. Which is why they attacked with their vol Voltaic Servant into our... Oh, they did have the Fungal Infection, okay. It's actually fine. Wow. Red mana. Yep. Seven unblockable. And that idiot. I don't think we have anything we can draw here, just to be clear. It's not the worst draw ever, but it doesn't do anything against the 3-3. And the 3-2, we need two answers now, so. Did you draft Chaya's Inferno again? Not this time, I wish, though. That would be nice. Intriguing. It's a weird choice. I don't know why you'd do that, but what do I know, I guess? Sure. So they're 15, we can attack for 5. Can we give these guys triple strike? Because that would be sick. Oh my god. We're doing it. Surprisingly impressive. Mm. Worth noting, we didn't open any China's Infernos either. Do we have any life gain in our deck? In the blue-red deck? Probably not. Not looking good. I mean, a kick Crossan Druid is greedy for multiple reasons. But yeah, I would take it if, if someone was like, would you like to cast this? And I'd be like, well, I don't have the mana. And they're like, would you like to cast this? And I'd be like, okay. And they're like, here you go. And I'd be like, okay. If that situation came up, it seems good.
They have five cards. We know what two of them are. On Sarah's Wings would be gas. Put on this Kelden Raider. Then we got a game, boys. Still need that white mana, but... You know. I would also take another Academy Journey Mage, but I don't think we have a second one. Lost a Caligo Skin Witch and two lands. All, all in all, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's actually a good play, because both of these are lethal. That's interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God, we're so close to lethal here. That's unbelievable to me. We're dead on board. We can't deal with the Wind Grace Acolyte, so we're just going to get in there and see what happens. Yep, no incentive. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can put them to four, which is actually closer than I thought we'd come, but literally no incentive. Wow. If we had both of these in hand, we would have won the game. We, they would have taken four from this, and then run amok would have killed them. That's insane. If we had one more card in hand. I'm bringing this unwind. One inconceivable bug. <laughs> Thank you, Kerwit. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, I'll keep this hand, and we'll hope that it gets better. Inconceivable. Yes, I, I won't be showing them the run amok if I don't have to. That is correct. Yeah, that's one of the few situations where if we had a Karn's Temporal Sundering, uh, we would have been able to cast it. I don't know what Karn's Temporal Mastery is, but Karn's Temporal Sundering would have been able to cast it with uh, not one but two legendary creatures. So that's a good deal. I should put next cards in my deck. You're not wrong. Got him. I don't actually even want to give this guy float, to be quite honest. I kind of just want to... Not, not float. I don't want to bounce him, because then they do some shenanigans. Then they just replay him next turn as a 3-3, and that's just worse. So we'll just keep the Journey Mage in hand. I hope you Dark Bargain here. That'd be great. Oh, I see. Hmm. That was aggressive. Four, five, six. Oh, baby. That should win us the game. This is 11 and we got to run a muck in hand. Get him. Get them. Run a muck would trigger twice, right? Yeah, that's how that works. Of course it would. Sorry I'm eating so it's hard to type. Wait, what happened? Uh, I like that you said that as if someone's like, Hey, how come you're not saying anything? So Skizik gets tapped for sure. We're just going to play everything. I don't care anymore. Yep, you're dead. All right, that was a good game. Let's have more games like that and less games like the one where we lost. Hugh, 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 hugh. Oh, chat is slow. Nailed it. Nailed it. We'll keep this hand. Nah. Oh, I got a little sword. I have a little bitty sword. 
I like this hand. Daylight come and may one go home. I will equip my skin witch. You got it. All these creatures are cards I don't really want to... Uh, I don't want to bounce Caligo skin witches. I don't want to watch Strom, Stromhold, Stromhold clerk fessers. None of those are real names. Why did he say the weird names like that? Here comes Cog the Cavalry. Oh, you're just going to eviscerate that guy. Bold strategy, Cotton. Why Why I know have guy? Maybe we can bounce the sword. Attack for three. Seems bad. Probably just going to play the pizza girl. We should all watch Beetlejuice again and then have a brief stream discussion. In the movie, like a book, like how about like a movie club? Isn't that like a movie? Movie club? Oh man, look at that guy. Blessed Light Lingering Phantasm Memorial to Glory. Deo. Deo. If you block here, we run a muck. And the worst part of raisins is you get all these stems in your teeth in your mouth. I guess they don't go in your teeth. Uh, I'll run amok you. They have two cards. I think our two cards are significantly better because they are uh, much more versatile. <laughs> we get to and they and they can trip. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oof. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't that special? What's your favorite magic card if not Joyra of the Gitu if it's the wrong answer? Wow. It is definitely not Joyra. <laughs> uh, favorite magic card is probably Cryptic Command competitively and Mystic Snake as far as like pet card. I'm going to get my lingering phantasm back. Phantasm's back. All right. What'd they get? Did they fail to find? No, JK, it's not even in play yet. So they have lingering phantasm that we know about. That's a good guy to block, too, because that guy could just cost six with no ability. So they get to give this guy the old... Uh, That's a thing, isn't it? That is a thing. So if we just attack for three, they're taking two. Uh, attack a car and attack car and attack your face. I'm actually tempted to keep to get rid of blink of an eye or to bounce the sword rather so we can just kill this guy and keep our wizard alive 
which seems very relevant to our plan. Or we can bounce the deep freeze, maybe? The problem is the, the two damage from the Journey Mage is pretty relevant. Do we know anything they have in their hand? They didn't get back Phantasm, which is good. I'm just going to kill this guy and, and keep the sword. Or keep the... Actually, oh, God, this is actually tricky. We have to blink something or else this guy dies. So... Oh, best friend bits? Thank you, Chris. I love you, buddy. You are awesome. If we blink the deep freeze, we get to keep the deep freeze, but we lose our journey mage. I'm going to just blink the, the stupid sword. But then they get to put it back on this guy, which makes this guy worse, right? But then we have both of these guys. I guess that's actually fine. All right. Not terrible, but not the best. Chef Snake, this is game three, round three. So we are 1-1 one, one right now. So I guess it's going right in the middle. Right in the middle of the road, I would say. What can we draw? Skizik would be amazing. Let's draw Skizik. Sure. Uh, Mountain's also good, actually. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. Do you just block here? That seems fine if you want to make that trade, actually. I'll make that trade all day. Oh, they didn't want to make that trade. They went to five? Oh, my God. Oh, we do let them get them their lingering phantasm back by bouncing the sword. That's pretty frustrating. I think it's a play at this turn. Ugh. They still have to deal with this glider. We have a lot of things we can draw here, but... Oh, I see. You're going to wait a turn, and then now, now you're going to block it. Okay, so you have one card in hand, and it's Phantasm. Seems good. Kick card. That's real close to a kick card. So you have two blockers, so you can go... Well, you have three blockers, but only two of them. You're going to go block here, block here, block here. You go to you go to two. I'm going to attack with both of these three threes. Both of these three twos here. Because I like both of these, either of these trades. One of these, one of these trades is totally fine. Yep, that is okay. So now, like, you still have the, the decision to make whether you either Blood Tallow Candle or play Lingering Phantasm, so. <laughs> sure. Oh, seriously? That's not good. Do we just do the same thing? I really don't want to put you to three. I don't really want you to put you to eight, rather. I'm going to pass here. I don't feel like we have any profitable attacks, unfortunately. Can't say these draws haven't been good for you. Yep, that's a good one. So 
Yep. Well, we had a good run, guys. We had a good run. Sixteen lands. We have actually drawn more lands than our opponent. They actually had to search for one of theirs. Sixteen lands, forty-one cards. Yeah, game's over. Uh, we actually can't win. There's nothing in our deck that wins from this position. So, that's cool. Another glorious Dominaria draft. Oh, our opponent also has Karn, so, you know. That's cool. Guess we just double block this guy because... I guess we have to triple block now because you have Blood Telecandle up. Uh... Huh. Yep. <sighs> I'm going to go to three because whatever. If you could live on any planet in the MTG universe, where do you live? Uh, whichever one doesn't get me mana screwed and allows me to play fun interactive games of Magic the Gathering. Earth is currently not that plane. But um, anything anything similar to, to what I've mentioned is probably where I'd want to live. Um, I'm not sure if that plane exists. But, you know, I assume it's probably out there somewhere, right? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sure. Does that win us the game? Definitely not. They go block here. <laughs> it's actually a joke. Make you figure it out. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They can literally just go block 2, 2, take, comically take 12, and then kill us. So. Yep. Good times. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching me fail spectacularly going 1-2 in the second draft in a row. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it either way. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you did. And I guess I'll see you next time. Hopefully that Vintage Cube cannot come soon enough because getting a little done with this format. Thank you guys for the support. I'll see you next time.